Okay, thanks, Mike. New at 11 tonight, the Corning School Board held its first school meeting since a school board member's son admitting to handing out pot brownies to his friends on campus. KRCR News Channel 7's Boris Sanchez just got back from that meeting. Boris, what do you got? Mark, this was not your average school board meeting. Parents I spoke with were just outraged. Is it against the law? Is it against the law? We're following the education code. Is it against the law to bring drugs to a school campus? All right. Actually, it's, 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 the Ed Code says that you may expel. It's against the law, right? Not your typical Corning Union Elementary School Board meeting Wednesday night. Parents like Luke Green expressing outrage at what they're calling preferential treatment for the son of Laura Crane, a school board member. Back in February, her son, a Maywood Middle School student, confessed he gave several friends pot brownies during school. The eighth grader was suspended for five days, but police were never called to investigate. I would have suspended him, called the police, had an investigation done, and took his, uh, his eighth grade graduation from him. They ain't done nothing. So. Now, according to the school board, they've followed the letter of the law. Do you feel like that's what's happened here? No. According to school board president Helen Pitkin, officials followed the letter of the law. She says she was upset the student's right to privacy had been violated. Um, I can't help but, but say I don't think you would be standing before me as a blessing board member's child because there has been marijuana brought, marijuana brownies brought to school and there wasn't an expulsion, there was a suspension, and nobody came forward. Former Corning Chief of Police Tony Cardetas took to the podium as well, explaining the school didn't have to call police. School officials have more authority on campus than we do as police officers, so we've always been supportive and encouraging of, the, of allowing the school district to handle issues as they... But for Luke Green, it wasn't enough. My daughter goes to school there. She will not be going to school there next year. I'm pulling her out. She's going to be going to Richfield. In my eyes, if that kind of stuff happens and kids aren't punished correctly, that's no good. It really isn't. I've been down that road. I've been to prison. I've been through a lot in my life. And I've changed. I've been clean off of everything for six years. And for one kid to make a mistake like he did, and not be punished accordingly is wrong. Crane didn't respond to the angry parents and did not want to go on camera. Though I did get a moment with her and asked if as an elected official, she felt the community and voters should know about what happened. But she said confidentiality laws protect her and her son and says despite the angry parents, she's received an outpouring of support from the community. Now we're about to upload this story on our Facebook page. When we do, we want to hear your thoughts. You can find the link on our website, krcrtv.com. Boris Sanchez, KRCR News Channel 7.